What's going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Soap Garage and today we have the half links to finish up my son's UTV gear drive conversion to chain drive project that we're working on. So we're going to warm up the shop and we're going to get started on this. I don't know if you guys know this but I saved the ashes so my chickens can dust bathe in them. Apparently it's a really good thing for them to dust bathe in. I don't know what you guys use, but I got tired of using paper. Now we're waiting for that to heat up. We, in the last episode, ran into an issue with the chain drive being a link too long or a link too short. So, I purchased half links and I totally forgot about these things. And it wasn't, if it wasn't for one of my fellow co-workers, I never would have thought of it because I totally had forgot that they make these. And what it is, it is a half link, obviously. But explaining that is you have a female and male side of your chain. So when you are too short or too long, you either get stuck in between these when you have to have a male, it becomes like a male uh, to a female and you have to put in your master link, which is not gonna jive. You have what's called a half link, which is this. This half link has a male and female side to it, which conjoins the two, which is perfect and exactly what we needed. Cause I think if it wasn't for that, I'd have to disassemble this whole thing and lift up the motor and do all kinds of weird stuff. Now, before I finish up, I have to put engine mount back into place down there on the bottom and we'll have to tighten up the chains and get the slack out of them. But while I'm doing that, she's dead, real dead. She's been sitting a long time. So we're gonna get a battery charger on this thing. Oh, while we were waiting to uh, get the shop heated up with the stove back there. Well, I decided to throw in that extra light and boy, does it make a difference. Nonetheless, we have the chain off and we are getting ready to put our half link install. We'll also have our master link. Uh oh, master link, uh, master link. All right, right back. Where are you at, Master Link? Where did I set that Master Link? He has to be around here somewhere. Do, do, do. That's not good. You're never gonna believe where I found that Master Link. You guys ever like look for your sunglasses and they're on top of your head? Well, Master Link wasn't on top of my head, but it was right underneath my nose. Uh, yeah. He was hanging out there the whole time. Don't you ever run away from me like that. I'll put you right there. Like I said, we're gonna put this half link on and hopefully the chain will go on nice and smooth. Now it comes with a little pin and an itty bitty, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can focus in on that or not, but the itty bitty tiny baby cotter pin. And she'll slide in like so. God, I think so. I think that's how this works. All right, my bad. So the end there, I don't know if you can see it. This will focus up. So the end here, it is flared out. You see that? So remember that. Uh, I uh, don't work with these very often. Like I said, I had a coworker of mine remind me of them when I explained the situation. Oh, and apparently, Man, guys, I'm learning all kinds of stuff. So we're all learning together. So this has this has a beveled edge on it. See, it's flat. I don't know if I can get to focus on that, but it's flat. And then this is keyed as well. So it can only go in one way and then it locks in there so it can't rotate out. So uh, yeah, that's new. So let's get this bad boy on here. We'll get it put in the correct way. I like folding a cotter pin on one side 
and not the other. So when I pull this back out, I'm not trying to fight and pinch together two sides. If she's coming out on that, uh, there's probably bigger issues going on there. So all we gotta do now is head to the go-kart or side-by-side, -side, wherever you wanna call that China junk and uh, install our chain and master link and we should be in business. We might have to fight to get that thing started because it hasn't ran in months. But I got another project that I think we're gonna touch on today. That's a bonus feature. We're supposed to get a big snowstorm coming monday they're talking about six to 13 inches i know some of you guys in the northern states are like Pah! that's everyday stuff but not for us so i got this old generator and when i mean old this thing's about nine years old uh the guy i got it from said you know he was working on a construction crew and they bought it it ran for a couple hours and then it stopped running and they just threw it off the side went and bought another one because they didn't have time to mess with this and take it apart so it sat in his barn for nine years we're gonna work on that today, see if we can get it started. You guys let me know what you think. See if we can get this out of the way a little bit. All right, ready? Back and forth. I think we'll be okay. I mean, we got a little bit of, we got a little bit of um, slack in that chain. If it gets real bad, I will, we'll get another spot, a small sprocket, and we'll do an idler pulley on the side and see how that works. That's if it gives us problems. For those just seeing this for the first time, I'll link a card up top. You can check out the progress we made on the first video of our build here or our chain uh, gear drive chain conversion. I'll link the card up top. I'm gonna get all this set back up and we're gonna get this thing started. So. When you see this again, I'll have all the seats back on and the tools cleaned up. All right, ready? One, two. Well, told you. Pretty simple, quick trick. That's how I do a lot of work around here. I just snap fingers, things happen, but. Go! Nonetheless, uh, we gotta get this thing started. So it's been charging for a while. It still says it's charging here, but. Probably need to get some fresh gas in here. Check the air breather. Cause you know, mice like to make nests through those things. Ooh. All right. Mm. So yeah, we're gonna pull the air breather apart, make sure there's not a mouse nest in there. And uh, we'll kind of go from there because we're all finished down below. So it's gonna be real interesting to see if this thing will drive with that chain drive and that doesn't pop off, bind up, break the welds and the gears, throw a snap ring and everything in between. So. Let's get it running. Ooh, my son will be mad if a mouse got in here and tore up his air filter. You know what that means. We ain't doing nothing until that bad boy gets replaced. So, let's see what it looks like. Well, we got it out. I'm not seeing anything on the outside. Should be golden if this is all clean. Like I said, uh, mice love making nests in our air breathers around here. If we have machines that haven't been ran for a while, so let's see. It's clean. The boy will be pleased. All right, only thing left now is hopefully this gas isn't too old in here, which it shouldn't be. I mean, we had it run this summer, but it's obviously it's what January now. It should be okay, it shouldn't be too bad. But the little booger, he did like to, uh, he liked to come out and start it up because he couldn't drive it. You know how those kids are, he couldn't drive it. Gosh darn it, I could go out there and turn the keys on my, on the thing and run it for no reason. And that's just how kids are. I do have this carburetor tuned down a lot. Because believe it or not, this little 200cc motor in this thing, she really shakes and bakes. Shake and bake, buddy! Shake it! Before you bake it! Slingshot engaged. We need to get some gas in there. We've got to pump her up. And that is only going to work if we draw vacuum. All right. Uh, 
we're gonna need some starting fluid. <laughs> That don't sound right. <sighs> we ran out of juice, people. We ran out of juice. All right, we'll let that sit a little bit. Bear back. All right, she just started running, guys. So I'm letting her run. I'm not messing with them. We'll let her warm up. I'm almost excited to see if this will work more than my son is to drive this thing. Jada, never been about that. Never, never been about playing no shit. No. Gator, don't play no shit. You hear, you feel me? The look on my son's face is gonna be priceless. Moment of truth, guys. Try to keep both my feet in. Well, the only thing I can tell you, son, is forward is reverse and reverse is forward, and don't ask me why it's that like that. I don't know if the knob came off and went on the other way, but there she, there you go. Okay. She's working. Don't go out in the trails; you'll get stuck. Let's see what we can do around here. <laughs> Told ya! Yeah, she's not. We gotta get some bigger tires for her. Well, at least it works. <laughs> here, let me get some weight on the back here. Maybe that'll help. Alright, now try it. Alright, let me get out the back. Uh, Alright. Uh, Think mean Jean? I like it. <laughs> yeah. It held up. I don't know why that's acting like that. It seems like it's backwards or something. I don't know what's going on with that. Well, she works. Like I said, tires. We gotta get some tires on it. See if she'll start back up. I had a hard time getting it started. Perfect. Now she got some old gas in her, so we'll have to run that out and put some fresh stuff in her. But what it you works. think? 
You I happy like now? It. Yeah. How long have I telling you I was going to work on this? A couple months. <laughs> That's no lie. I've been, I've been telling the little man a couple months where we've been working on this, but guess what? It's going to be ready it for works. springtime. It works. Once we get some tires in the back, you'll be able to thrash around in this snow like no one's business. So. All right. Well, unfortunately, we ran out of time to get to this generator. Uh, I obviously got to clean up the shop so we can work on that. I think that'll be the next video. I am working on getting the gas tank out of this C10 and prepping this so the cab will come off. I actually have to move a hoist winch to the center of column to pick this cab up so we can roll the frame out. We're going to build a cart, set the cab on that. There's a whole lot of work needs to be done in this. So I think the next episode, you guys are going to see some of that happen. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next episode. A sunny slope garage, huh? Yeah. All right. Later, guys. Yeah.